What a good historian does is they go into a historical problem with a set of questions rather than answers. The answers that you come up with to those questions are almost never the answers you thought you had at the beginning. It's so crucial to study American history or any history because we can't understand or act in an informed way in the world in which we live unless we understand what came before. What came before is still shaping our reality in every moment. If we don't do our work to uncover cover that past and to understand how it affects us, we lose tremendous opportunity to reshape our future. Historians are engaged really in the noblest terms in the pursuit of truth. And I say truth with a smile because I think we all know that truth is a very complicated concept. I decided to become a historian because I realized that as I looked at the world around me, all of the questions that I had had a historical cast to them. I was working as a public school teacher in New York City in a school that was had a lot of problems and my questions were always how did we get here how did the world become this way reconstruction is a fascinating moment in American history both for what it was this period when the federal government committed in a way it never had before to defend the rights of newly freed slaves African Americans this set the foundation for the civil rights movement that would come a hundred years later and it also also created this foundation that exists today where African Americans have shown as voters that they really have faith in the federal government to defend their rights. It's also fascinating in the way it's been remembered. Historians for much of U.S. history wrote about Reconstruction as the worst moment in American history. This was a period in which Negro rule threatened the South, in which the federal government kind of muscled Southern states into these unfair um, arrangements. Now we think of Reconstruction in this much more positive way, that it didn't go far enough, but that it set the foundation for the civil rights movement. So it's really cool both to understand it as precedent setting, but also to see the way historical interpretations have changed over time. It really shows that, you know, truth changes.